As we continue to celebrate and recognize uh, Black History Month, I am honored to highlight the life and legacy of former Norfolk State uh, University Spartans men's basketball coach, the late Charles Christian, also known as Coach. Coach Christian meant so much to so many across the Commonwealth of Virginia. For me, he was a, my mentor, my consultant, and a friend. I had the honor of working with Coach Christian on civic issues in Suffolk. In 2011, the House Joint Memorial Resolution was filed um, in his honor. Coach Christian was a Virginia basketball legend. He led the Norfolk State College men's basketball team to seven CIAA titles. He gained his basketball IQ through experience. Not only um, did he play in high school, but he also started on the Virginia State College 1947 CIAA tournament championship team. He started his coaching career as a high school basketball coach. In 1973, Coach Christian then began coaching the men's basketball team at Norfolk State University, then called Norfolk State College. He coached the team for 13 years. During this period, he won 319 games and only lost 90, uh, 95 games. Uh, this was the most wins for any men's basketball coach uh, in Norfolk State University history. A 77% winning percentage. In 11 of his 13 seasons as coach, he won at least 20 victories a season. Uh, coach Christian won seven CIAA titles, three Division II regional titles, and earned three appearances in the Division II National Quarter Finals. He was selected CIAA Coach of the Year four times, tournament coach seven times, and South Atlantic District Coach of the Year twice. He was inducted into the CIAA Hall of Fame, the Virginia State University Hall of Fame, the Norfolk State University Athletic Foundation Sports Hall of Fame, and the Hampton University African American Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, to say that he was an accomplished basketball coach would obviously be an understatement. Uh, he was a basketball legend. And his life mentor, as a, and a life mentor to many young men, and his impact was felt even outside of basketball world. He was a leader in my community. He volunteered his time in numerous organizations with the Alpha Iota Chapter Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity with the Suffolk Booster Club, the uh, Southern Poverty Law Center, uh, with the men's, uh, I'm sorry, with the Martin Luther King's Junior Celebration Committee. He chaired the, the local branch NAACP, the Suffolk Civic Forum. He was a board member on the Suffolk Redevelopment and Housing Authority, and he organized and tutored in public housing in the city of Suffolk. Coach Christian was a legend on and off the court. He dedicated his teaching uh, his time to teaching and leading our youth um, to shaping the future leaders of tomorrow is something we should emulate, not just in Black History Month, but every day. But more than Coach Christian's basketball legacy, uh, more than his civic engagement, it was his counseling that had a lasting impact on me. Um, on one occasion, Coach Christian called me to his house and he stood on his high rise porch. He looked down at me and he pronounced my name as my mother does, Clinton. And by that, I knew coach was serious. He said, Clinton, know what you want, know why you want it and know what it takes to get there and don't step on anyone's toes along the way. He said, Clinton, think, he said, there is no such thing as luck. It's preparation and opportunity. When you properly prepare yourself, an opportunity comes your way, you can walk through the door. Madam Speaker, under your leadership, that's what we are doing here. We are, uh, 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 as people prepare themselves, we are giving them the opportunity to walk through the door. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you so much, Delegate Jenkins.